My Academic Status Report The Academic Status Report is a user-friendly companion tool for the academic audit. It highlights key information regarding your degree program status and will show you if you're on track in meeting your graduation requirements. You should run your academic status report along with your academic audit each semester because both provide important information about your degree requirements. It is recommended that you do this both before and after registering in courses. For more information on running your audit, please see our how-to videos on the academic audit. To access your academic status report, go to Carleton Central and find the Academic Progress heading. Click My ASR. Click Continue. The first section of the report will indicate general information including your name, student number, and year standing. Your program calendar year is based on when you entered your current program. Though departments may make changes to a program, students are grandfathered into a particular calendar year and your calendar year determines the requirements laid out on your audit. For example, if in your fourth year a required first year course changes for your degree, you will not need to go back and complete it because your requirements are based on your program calendar year. The three main sections of the Academic Status Report are Graduation CGPA Requirements, University and Faculty Graduation Requirements, and Academic Progression. Graduation CGPA Requirements This section lists the cumulative grade point averages you will need to achieve to be able to graduate in the future. Your CGPA is calculated using the letter grades you have achieved. Graduation CGPA requirements indicated will vary based on your program. Click on Overall CGPA or Major CGPA to view more information on the undergraduate calendar. If you have a CGPA requirement for additional program elements such as a minor or concentration, it will appear here. Next to your CGPA requirements are your current CGPAs based on the grades you have received. You will also see icons to help you interpret this information. You can hover over an icon for more information. It is important to note that the CGPA requirements that you will need to meet for good standing at the academic performance evaluation may be different than the graduation requirement for your program. Please contact the Academic Advising Center if any of your CGPAs are not meeting the graduation requirements. University and Faculty Graduation Requirements This section will list the residency and advanced credit requirements for your degree. For example, this student requires at least 5.0 credits completed at Carleton to satisfy the residency requirement. Since this student has only earned 2.0 credits towards their advanced credit requirement, a warning icon has appeared beside it, along with a message recommending that the student checks in with an advisor to make sure they are on track. If you have breadth requirements, it will be indicated whether or not you have completed them. Please see our video on breadth requirements if you have any breadth-related questions. For degree students, your report will also indicate the maximum number of credits below the 2000 level that you may count towards your degree, as well as how many credits you have earned below the 2000 level. Click any of these links to learn more about these requirements. Academic Progression This section lists your academic performance evaluation decisions. The academic performance evaluation is how the university checks that students are on track to graduate. Academic decisions may include good standing, academic warning, and no decision. If you hover over your most recent academic decision, you will see a brief explanation of the decision. Please contact the Academic Advising Center if you have any questions. Check out the Academic Status Report page on the Registrar's Office website for more information.